So here we are in the propulsion room and I'd like to take a deeper look at the information that we can find associated with model objects. Having clicked on something previously, previous video, you understand that clicking on it brings up information associated with that object on the right hand panel. But I'd like to go in a little bit deeper into where this information is coming from. So the model information is coming from the 3D model itself, the files that we've uh, imported into the system that put those attributes directly against that model item. The remaining information is collected by eShare. So the equipment management data, for example, is being loaded up from an external Excel spreadsheet. The next section, maturity management, is uh, writable data that I've created to track the flow of the, the progress of these engineering items through their, their initial engineering process and through into production. The final section are linked documents that we can find in the document library itself. Selecting another object, such as this spool, can bring up other types of information. So it's very much based on the, the object that we've got selected. So we can see that in this case, the markup information, I'll come to in a later video, is associated with this item. I have a section that brings in information from a PLM system, and I have a different set of documents associated with this item. Going back to the propulsion motor, let's have a look at some of those documents. So I can see that I've got a service manual for my propulsion motor. If I click on that, it will take me through into the document library, and in this case, load up a PDF file. So here is that document and say, for example, I was interested in the lifting information. I know that I can find that on page 14 and we can bring that into the, the process that I might be working on to install the propulsion unit or uh, to remove it for maintenance. Going back to the model, let's take a look at the drawing associated with this propulsion motor. So you can see that because this uh, motor is referenced in the drawing. There's a piece of text that the system knows that uh, belongs to that propulsion motor. It zooms immediately to that location in the document. And all of the shaded references here have an associated 3D model. So for example, if I wanted to now check out the, the Lubor unit for our propulsion motor, clicking on the link takes me through into the 3D model. And I will go to the Lubor motor Lubeoil uh, system there, I can see that it's, it's highlighted and indeed it's been hiding behind the propulsion motor in our previous viewpoint. Clicking on the spool, well here I can start to dive into some of the other hyperlinked information. So for example if I wanted to see the entire system, selecting the, the, the system name will go out and collect the entire objects, model objects associated with that, that system itself. Um, we can see in this view where the system is located in the project. If I just wanted to see that system on its own, that's a possibility. And if I wanted to see the system in association with its uh, neighboring 3D data, this allows me to see what it's connected to, some of the things it's penetrating, and where it's going in the vessel without needing the entire vessel in the view. Going back to our propulsion room, let's have a look at some of the documents associated with that spool. So we can see a system isometric. And again, like the, the previous drawing, we zoom directly into the location of that spool on the drawing. Um, this system happens to consist of four circuits uh, two for each of the propulsion motors and then for the cargo transfer system. And uh, we have a box cooler associated with each of those, again, linked. Uh, and if I click on this link, it will take me to the position of that cooler in the skeg. There we go. Removing the shell plate. I can kind of get a better view on what's going on in that area of the ship. Let's see. And again, this one comes with its own set of documents. So if I wanted to see the, the supplier information, it will take me to the PDF file associated with it. 
and I can browse through it like that. It doesn't have to be just engineering information that we're finding. Uh, we can see that going back to that spool again, we can also pick up some of the production information. Here we have a uh, fabrication isometric for that spool. Um, so associated with this drawing, we see the, the pipe sketch and we see the underlying kind of fabrication isometric and any reference information on a drawing that can be interpreted as a model object reference can be used to take us back into this, into the model view. So now we'll be taken to a neighboring spool as part of that assembly.